Nobody wins when the family feels But my staff it's trifling, man. This where my this where my son live at though. Party. You having a party in this house look like this. Man, it's trifling, man. Look at this, man. Right, I know you can hear. I don't care. The when it comes to my kids, on my kids, can't nobody say I don't take care of my kids. Can't nobody say I'm a dirty nigga. Can't nobody say none of that. I'm my mama. Y'all can't say it. Plenty of people been over here. And then you can ask anybody. As soon as they drop a rapper on the floor, I'm picking up. About dishes stay clean, all that. I'm a clean nigga. I smell good anytime somebody give me a hug. Ask any female that gave me a hug. Any female I walk past, I'm far from dirty. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to help her, and she just don't want the help. Ain't no help. You can't give a person help that don't want help. A Lord different. Today we're going back to Ohio. We gotta talk about an Ohio aspiring rapper who went to Facebook Live within the last 48 hours to expose his baby mother living conditions. After going over there and seeing his son bed on the floor and a bunch of other things, to say the least. Now, I chopped this live down because I want you guys to see it. But it's a bigger issue that I want us to tackle. Like, be mindful of the things you do before complaining about it. Someone even mentioned in the live that the man knew how his baby mother was prior to him impregnating her. And that's a serious thing. Because if you already knew this, what made you think having a baby would make her change? And I'm not saying that she can't for the better. But I'm saying that's what you was accustomed to. So trying to expose that person. But I want y'all to let me know how y'all feel about it. So without wasting too much time on this intro, remember, I don't give you no angle. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We will jump right to it. Doing my daily research, somebody has sent me this live, fam. It was based out of Ohio, and I thought it was a joke. But it was dead serious. It was a man who exposed his baby mother and her living conditions. It seemed like she wasn't there. This is a man who said that his baby mother have three other kids by one other man who allegedly don't do anything. And here's the thing. Apparently he used to be over there as well, which he later discussed in the lab after receiving some backlash and some support. And of course, you'll later hear that live as well too. Now I didn't want to expose who the baby mother was even though he recently had tagged her and even showed that he recently supported her by buying her a couch and even going all out in his words for her birthday. Check it out. Now that was some time ago. It seemed they're not together right now. And the man had alluded that they always having a party at their house. But if that's the case, why was your son then before? He mentioned that, it, that it's a party always at their house. And he later gave his explanation. But I want you to see that live that was posted. Check it out. <laughs> Man, shit, man. Got, got this house, got a whole bunch of people over here. They over here, loud music. Kids gotta go to school, man. Look at this, man. Y'all, my mama's ain't. My son gotta live here, man. Listen here. Like. I need my keys. I ain't even give a fuck about the phone. I want my keys. I can't go on nobody's phone. I need them too. Fuck. We can't go nowhere without nothing. And I want my drink. I don't know if I get. You and I might not get no keys on your phone. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about none of that. Where? Somebody told us where. I gave it to I-90. Is that with the camera's diagonal or straight? Diagonal. That's her. Mine's straight. No, it's straight. Yeah. She's got school and they partying over here. Got a whole bunch of them up in here. Look at this. Look at this trifling ass shit, man. All right, so where you been at? What? This how you, this how most of our kids got school in the morning and shit. Got a house for the people over here. My son live here. My son live here, man. This where my son live at, man. House full of people. This where my son live at. House full of people, man. It's terrible. A house full of people. Kids got school. This where my son live at, though. This where my son live at, though. This, man. This trap. This where my son live at, man. This where my son live at, man. Every day. This where my son live at, though. This is where my son live at, man. This is where my son live at. House full of people over here partying, loud music, and the kids got school. This is where my son live at, cuz. 
This shit is trifling. Look at this. Look at this shit. This is where my son live at, y'all. This is where my son live at, right here. This is where my son live at. I don't even know Look at this. Right. House full of people over here. Music loud. And my son live here. They got school tomorrow. This is what goes on over here. This is the type of shit. Look at this shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this. Every day. This is all this bitch do every day. Trifling, cuz. This is where my son live at. This is where my son live at. Look where my son live at. Look where my son live at, though. It's Harrison. Shantae Porter. This is Shantae Porter's house. This is trifling. You shouldn't be doing no partying. You don't even have a job. You don't do nothing. You, this is what you do every day. Trifling. Shantae Porter, this is trifling. This is where my little son live at. Man, come on, man. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This is trifling, man. This is trifling, man. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. This shit trifling. Tuh. What you mean? This is my son's bed, right? That's my son's bed, right? He sleeping in his room. And, and guess what she doing while he in the bed? Guess what she doing while he in the bed? Guess what she doing while my son in the bedroom with her? Trifling shit. This trifling. Man, this just made everybody get out. And flop house. You having a party and this how your house look. Kids got school and everything. This how your house look and you having a party. Y'all got the music loud. This how your house looking, you having a party, cuz. What the look at this? Man, look at this. Embarrassing. How can you have a party with your house looking like this? Look at the bathroom. What the f man, what the f this man? What the f this man? This trifling. Look at this dude. This trifling. Trifling, man. This is where my this is where my son live at though. Party. You having a party in this house look like this. Look at this. Right. I know you can hear. Right here. Trifling. It is trifling. Kids live here. My son live here. He got living this. That's trifling. That's trifling. That's trifling. That's trifling. Nasty. Over here partying with y'all partying their kids. Kids got school. Man, these people just walking around here like everything cool. It's crazy. Please let the owner of the house. It's crazy. Shit trifling. He don't record her, you know, all this shit. He don't buy all that shit. Yeah, tell him what I'm doing. Because I don't. Who's going to stop me? Look at this nasty. Man, what? Man, this, they having a party in this. They having a party in this. I came over here. It was a house full of people over here drinking and doing all this. Look at the kids room. Shit, trifling. I just this what this is what the motherfuckers do every day. Man, it's crazy. This is where my son sleep at. This is bed. I take care of that little boy. Tornado. This is where my son sleep at. And look what she do. You can't go to go to the nigga house and do that. You gonna fuck while my son here? And you is crazy. You is crazy. You is crazy. You is crazy. I can't believe I got a kid by this girl, man. I tried to polish her up, man. This and this shit bad. This shit bad. Look at the bathroom. Look at the bathroom. Look at the bathroom. This is where kids live at. This is where my son live at. Man, I'm about to take my son with me, man. All right, come on. Come on, Come on. Yeah, I've been new, but I tried to help her. I've been trying to help her, trying to tell her to keep her house clean. I got my own house. My house don't look like this. Kids got school. Go ahead, come on. Crazy. That's easy. My house will never look like this. Never look like this on no day. Man, like, what, man? This shit is trifling. Like, you in here partying and fucking niggas all in the room and shit with my son in there and you got this house looking like this. You got a house full of people over here. Like, man, this shit. Go ahead, go. It's crazy. This girl need to get her life together. Get your life together. 
Y'all in here cooking in this nasty kitchen. Y'all ain't clinked up it. Try. <laughs> Try. Take him home. Take him home. Son, son, you wanna go, Daddy? Come on, go get your stuff. This shit crazy. My son gotta live in this, bro. Go get your stuff, dude. Crazy man, this is trifling. Trifling, you got kids living in this man. This is crazy. Over here partying, drunk every day. Do this shit every day. House full of people, drunk. Man, <laughs> crazy man. Y'all be over here. No, this shit should be cleaned at least. If you gonna have a flop house. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about whoever be here. This is crazy. This shit trifling though. This got this is trifling, man. But this this so trifling, and I try to help her and tell her to keep this clean. It shouldn't, ain't no way your house should look like this. and You having a party? Clean up. But, but you know how she is, bro. It ain't cool. It ain't cool. My son gotta live here, man. My son gotta live here, cause it's cool. I swear to God, I didn't. I ain't know. I ain't know. I ain't, I started figuring out later on down the line. I tried to polish her up, but she it ain't work. That's just how she wanna be. This shit crazy, man. I mean, everybody got their opinions like assholes, so you know. I mean, everybody got their opinion. Everybody, everybody got the same thing. This say. ain't no opinion. This is facts. Like you can just look at this shit. Like who came in here and it's messed up? The kids been here. Right? No, this is more than messed up now. I, mean, you can say I can't. You can can't say nobody. Say. I don't care. Ain't no excuse for no house looking like this. Right. Ain't no excuse. It's a, ain't no excuse for this. There's no excuse for this. Having a house full of people. Y'all tell me if it's any excuses for this. Man, this shit crazy. Crazy. My son sleep right here in the bed, in the room with her, right? That's his bed. And look what she doing. Come on, listen. Shit bad, man. Shit bad. Bad. This shit bad. Come on, son. Let's go. You're not staying here. You're not staying here. Come on. You don't even need no clothes. I got your clothes at home. Come on. You don't need no clothes. No, she Trifling as fuck, man. That shit crazy. Oh my God, bro. Yeah. And they just over here partying and kicking it like it ain't nothing. Take my son from over here, man. That's embarrassing as God, bro. Made everybody leave, though. Your kids got school. And my son over here, too. Y'all ain't about to be partying all night. Go somewhere else. Ain't nobody got their own crib. Fuck. Huh? Police call them, nigga. I ain't do nothing to nobody. Tired of that shit. Fuck. I try to polish that too so much, man. I try to spare. I try to spare, man. Shit crazy, man. I try to spare. I try to polish her up. I try to help her. We ain't even together or nothing, though. You feel me? I'm just trying to. I'm trying to help my son live with you. So I done bought you furniture, carpet. You feel me? Like put food in your house, all that shit, and you still do this, man. Come on, man. Like you ain't even. You ain't even trying. Like you ain't trying to do shit. Like, dude, this is all she do every day. Every day, this is all she do. Get drunk, pass out, don't know who at her house. Ain't no telling. Niggas take advantage of you, all type of shit, man. That shit is, man, that shit is bad, man. That shit bad, man. And I swear to God, I've been sparing this girl for so long. My son, three years old, man. I, I, I swear to God, I try to help her. Try to, you know what I'm saying? Like, yes, I brought that couch. I brought that couch when it was, it was, it was, it was new. And now it look like that, shit. 
Like, man, I'm telling you, man. I done helped her clean the motherfucker. Mop the floors, all the, all that shit, bro. She don't care, man. Long as she got a bottle to her mouth and shit like that, man. And she, man. Ah, right, bro. And I ain't deleting this video. Fuck. Somebody screen recorded, so just in case they try to take it down, because I need this. Like, yeah, I'm about to take that shit downtown. In custody of my son. He don't need to be around you. Fuck. You letting all type of niggas be around my little nigga. What's up wrong with you, dude? You ain't even got enough respect to go to them niggas' house. You all in the house fucking by my son in the bed. Like, you was a nasty. His rap stage name is 22 Bell. Releasing a trap two weeks ago with the I'm doing my thing freestyle with a little under 2,000 views and counting. Now, T Bell Dolo, he responded to the backlash and the support he was receiving from that post of his laugh. Check it out. Now I'm just about to clear something up, man. I ain't even about to be on this shit long. I ain't even got time. I just want to clear something up for you weird-ass people, man. Some of you weird-ass people, I see y'all sharing shit, sharing, saying little shit. Y'all don't even know what the fuck y'all talking about. I'm just about to clear this shit up real quick. <laughs> Real quick, I'm gonna just start all the way from the beginning though, and I'm gonna just leave it at that. I ain't got nothing else to say. I don't give a body, I don't care what nobody gotta say on my kids. Clear this shit up real quick, man. I'm gonna end it. First, I just want to say, I didn't go, I'm, I, y'all talking about, some of y'all, I seen some of y'all talking about, I was mad because the con and the, and, and the liquor bottle and the garbage. I mean, I probably was a little mad about that too, but that's not the reason, that's not what, that's not what made me go live and none of that uh, off rip, like, quit saying I was mad about the condom. Of course, if you walk in your, any, any man that walk in his kid's mom's room and see a condom and a and a and a, and a bottle of liquor in the in the room and yo this where your kids sleep at. Of course you gonna feel some type of way about that. You gonna feel some type of way about that. And if a nigga lie and say he not gonna feel no type of way about that, he's just not a real nigga. But that's not why I went live. That's not the main reason why I went live. First of all, I was already mad about the whole situation when I walked in the house and y'all all kicking it and partying and. Y'all grilling in the back and I was gonna knock the grill over. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't knock it over. I was about to knock the grill over. I was the the reason what really made me mad though, I told everybody to leave. And this girl told them they didn't have to leave, so her sister getting loud and oh my sister said we ain't gotta leave. We we here and we do we 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 ain't going nowhere and da da da, da and talking about she gonna call the police and all this. Y'all ain't going nowhere. Your sister said y'all ain't gotta leave. Okay, I don't wanna put my hands on nobody. I don't I don't I don't wanna put my hands on nobody because in my head already I'm already feeling like putting my hands on somebody for real. I ain't even gonna lie. That's how motherfucking mad I was. I wanted to put my hands on somebody. You feel me? But I just I had to I had to calm down a little bit. My son in here. I'm not even I'm not even gonna go there. I know how I am, I know how my temper how my temper is. About was putting my hands on somebody. But I didn't. I kept my composure. So I'm like, all right, y'all don't want to leave? I'm going to go live and let everybody see this. I'm going to go live and let everybody see this. Y'all could be in the live. Y'all want to be famous. Go ahead. Since y'all don't want to leave, I'm going to make y'all famous then. I'm going I'm to go live and I'm going to let everybody see how nasty y'all is. How y'all over here kicking it in a dirty ass kitchen. Y'all cooking in this dirty house. You feel me? With all these kids over here. Y'all got, y'all got people, other people, kids over here that's not even somebody else's kids down the street 
kids. And they dirty too. How dirty this part is. People saying something about CPS and all that. Her own friend called CPS on her. One of her friends called CPS on her. And they came over there and checked her house. And is she still getting, this house still getting checked up for that. And guess what? Guess who was over there that, last night when I went over there? The same person that called CPS on this. Her kids was over there that night, last night. This bitch called CPS on you and you got this. That's how you, that's how I know you don't give a f Calling CPS on you or none of that's about. You just don't care about life at this point. And then y'all on here talking about depression. Man, this ain't that much depression in the world, man. Ain't that much, man, you know how many times I went over there and told her to clean this house up, man? I pick my son up every day, take him to school, and pick him up from school. And I tell her, man, clean this house up, man. Why do you got your house looking like this? You know your friends probably talking about you. They ain't going to talk about you in your face. But to other people, I bet you they telling you that your house look a damn mess. Your house look crazy. I know, I know they talking about you. They over here kicking it, yeah. But when they leave and when they get mad at you, the first thing they're going to say is your house nasty as fuck. That's the first thing they're going to say. And y'all talking about depression. Ain't that much depression in the world. It's not that much depression in the world, man. It's not that much depression in the world to where every room in your house is dirty as fuck. It ain't that much depression. Ain't no fucking reason for this silly when you drink every day. You got people over here smoking every day. You got your kids running around. Man, ain't no, that's not depression. That's not depression. That ain't depression. That shit is not depression, man. That's just, you just don't give a fuck. And y'all talking about trying to help her and everybody trying to act like they want to help her and do all this. She don't need time to help. I've been trying to help. I done helped that lady clean that house up before plenty of times. It's not, no, she don't need no help. You talking, man, on my kids, man. It ain't depression. It ain't no, ain't no none of that, man. Depression ain't, if you, if you company over here, get yourself together. You need to get yourself together. And everybody that was over there live with somebody. Everybody over there live with somebody. They don't even got nowhere to go. They live with they come out. Oh my kids. All of them dirty. Everybody. Oh, how the fuck you letting your kids run around look like this? I don't give a y'all feel. I don't care. Y'all can say I'm having a sucker attack. Y'all can say what y'all wanna. One thing about me, y'all gonna learn that Y'all gonna learn that I don't care. My kids can't nobody say I don't take care of my kids. Can't nobody say I'm a dirty nigga. Can't nobody say none of that. I'm my mama. Y'all can't say it. Plenty of people been over here. And this bitch stay clean. You can ask anybody. As soon as they drop a rapper on the floor, I'm picking that nigga. I smell good anytime somebody give me a hug. Ask any female that gave me a hug. Any female I walk past, I'm far from dirty. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to help her. And she just don't want the help. Ain't no help. You can't give a person help that don't want help. Y'all in my inbox talking about, oh, what's her Facebook? I'm trying to help. Y'all ain't trying to help. She don't need help. I'm the help. So I help her. The fuck is y'all talking about, dude? Y'all just a lot of y'all just be talking. My kids, bro. Y'all just be talking. My mama. Now I understand how this Facebook shit is, man. Everybody got something to say. But I'm the person that don't care. I don't give a fuck. Say what y'all gotta say. Cause at the end of the day, I'm gonna say what the care. I don't give a fuck. On my kids. And then my son and people that know me know me. And I, it's a lot of y'all on here that know me. Y'all know I got my kids a lot. Y'all been in my house and seen my kids over here. My kids don't even be wanting to go back with their moms. My son definitely don't. He a pee on himself, and he know he get in trouble for that. He get in trouble over here for that. He pee on himself. I might pop him on the hand, or I make him sit on the couch. You in trouble. And then I still ask him a couple times, you want to go back? You want to go to mommy's house? He say no. I ask him four times because I know how kids is. They get in trouble. They want to go to the other parent. So I'm going to ask my son, you want to go to mommy's house? No. You want to go to mommy's house? No. You want to call mommy? No. I ask him this when he get in trouble just to see if you if, if, if you mad because you got in trouble. Just to, He don't care. He don't want to go back home. He don't want to go to his mama's house. And I see why. I see why. As soon as I went over there and I got my son and I brought him home, right hand up to God, I laid him on that couch and, and he had his tablet. Five minutes flat, he was asleep. Do that over there. It's loud as fuck every night. Different people over there. I, I ain't even gonna be. I ain't gonna be an asshole and try to make it like for, push it and say every night, every other night though. There's always people over there, a house full of people, and y'all kicking it. And 
Every day I try to help this girl, man. I'm telling you, I'm try, I try to help you. I tell you, you need to get a job. You need to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure your your other kids, her other kids, looking at my son, like, one of her kids asked why he always get tennis shoes. That's because her, he got a dad. You know what I'm saying? They dad is not in their life. So she can't even explain that. Like, you not, you not, I'm pretty, them kids want some new shoes and stuff to go to school in. They want new clothes. It's out here just doing anything, man. Like, Riding around drinking every day. I don't care what nobody say. I could be wrong as fuck. I don't care. I said, get out. Y'all say y'all ain't leaving. Okay, I'm going live. I'm going to let everybody see this. And who going to do something? Do it. Do it. Do it. When my kids do it. Do it. I've been through so much shit, I don't even give a You feel me? Because this shit, we human. I, both ways, man. This shit go both ways, man. I'm not worried about nobody. I promise to God. The only person, the only people that, that, that I'm worried about could be the police. And tear that motherfucking house up? I didn't do it. My son right here is kids in here. You feel me? But y'all talking about y'all ain't got to go because your sister says y'all ain't got to go. Man, all right. Stay here then. Watch this. I'm going to go live. I get to going live. Now I see everybody leaving. I was nasty as care. I know she. But my son in the room too. Like, what? You, you mind all this shit, man? I don't give a be fucking. Bitches get dressed. She don't dress like that. Anybody that know me know how I dress. So if you see how she dressed, you know I dressed her. You know I bought them clothes. You know I picked that out. You feel me? But shit, you can't make you can't make nobody you you, you can't make nobody want to do better, man. Fuck depression and all that weird ass excuses and all that shit y'all making up. You clean your house. I don't care. You can get them kids in the bed. Fuck is you talking about? You can feed them kids, man. Family, I'm quite sure you guys know why I brought this to you guys' attention. It's something worth talking about. And of course, it's like we have in these episodes, but we seldomly talking about it. Was he right? Was he wrong? Is there any lesson that we could have learned from this? I'm sure it was. But the real thing is the response from the woman. It seems she's not taking it to social media, which could possibly be a good thing, but he is. Like mentioned in the video, he mentioned that his son is never going over there. And I don't really blame him. As far as what will happen next, will he take that responsibility like some kings do? Or will he just complain in social media and just use that for clout? He made a couple posts in between time and said the following. Hey, I want to address one more thing. Early this morning, because I don't even play like this. On every dead person in my family, on all four of my kids. So apparently this man had four kids. I don't give a what it or try to be funny. Can't nobody ever put no gay papers on my name. I ain't never in my life dish with a man in my life. I don't give up what you think you heard or none of that. Me and all my four kids can die right now. The f now. Y'all must be so trying so hard to be funny making up shit. And it's crazy. I'm a solid on my babies. All that secret deeds be on, on my... I ain't never. That's one thing I will die behind and I won't play about. He also mentioned, I'm not entertaining Facebook no more today. I'm finna grab me a fifth of Tito and a Magnum making a funny reference about the video. He also mentioned, why every time something happened, it seemed like the whole city be trying to attack me. Y'all stay bothering me. He also mentioned a female who exposed him. Huh? This is so embarrassing that I have to tell y'all this, but not this Cedric Entertainer looking on here trolling, trying to get some clout uploading a screenshot from months ago. I ain't gonna lie. I was hit. I was lit and hit Gorilla Big Black Tail Self one time like four years ago and dropped her off at a parking lot. But he also called out a woman who said this. And that little minute the trash must have really hurt. We seen it nine times. And I'm calling housing authority because y'all can't be doing inspections. 100. And that's what you get for effing anything from the club laughing emoji. And you ain't never had a place to live and live out of garbage bag. Stay out of if any more hit public about this situation, I keep you guys updated. But let me know how you guys feel about it. This was the story of an Ohio aspiring rapper who took the Facebook Live to expose his baby mother after walking in on a house that looked like the trap. Talk to me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.